my name is Jessica, and I will be taking you on this journey into history. I have always been fascinated with history, mysteries, and the paranormal, so I decided to create a podcast that encompasses all those things. If you find these things fascinating, like me, then please, I encourage you to come along each week to see where history takes us next. Hey, this is Jessica from Ancient Secrets and Haunted Journeys. The month of October is going to be a little different. Uh, Every day I am going to visit a different haunted location. So please be sure to come back and see where we go next. Welcome back, my courageous seekers of the supernatural, to a special episode of Ancient Secrets and Haunted Journeys. Tonight, we embark on a cross-country expedition to explore America's most haunted homes and landmarks. Buckle up, for this is a road trip like no other. Our first stop is the Whaley House Museum in California. Built on the very ground where James Yankee Jim Robinson was hanged. The house is a cacophony of spectral footsteps and eerie apparitions. Yankee Jim's heavy footsteps are often heard stomping around the house as if protesting his cruel fate. But he's not alone. The Whaley family and even their dog have been seen and heard. Officially classified as haunted, this house is a must see for any thrill seeker. Next, we head to the House of Death in New York's Greenwich Village. With 22 spirits haunting its walls, including the ghost of Mark Twain, This brownstone is a veritable hive of paranormal activity. Author Jan Bryant Bartell documented her haunting experiences in the top floor apartment, adding a layer of credibility to the tales. Though you can't tour the interior, its haunted history is well documented, making it a popular stop on New York City ghost tours. Our next destination takes us to the heartland, the Villisca Axe Murder House in Iowa. The site of a gruesome family murder, this house is a hotbed of paranormal activity. The spirits of the victims are said to yearn for justice, making it a chilling stop for those brave enough to spend the night. The air is thick with residue of the unspeakable acts committed there, and visitors often report an unsettling heaviness upon entering the home. From there, we travel to the Bell Witch Cave in Tennessee. Haunted by a vengeful entity that tormented the Bell family in the early 1800s. This site offers tours for those gutsy enough to encounter its malevolent force. The entity often spoke with the family, identifying herself as the former neighbor, Kate Batts. Physical attacks, unexplained noises, and strange animals were all part of the haunting making it one of the most well-documented cases in paranormal history. We then head to the nation's capital, where even the White House is not immune to hauntings. From President Lincoln to Dolly Madison, the spirits of America's past leaders and their spouses are said to roam its historic halls. Ronald Reagan entertained guests with stories of his dog barking at invisible specters. And Winston Churchill encountered Lincoln's ghost while stepping out of the bathtub. Our journey then takes us to the Sally House in Kansas, a seemingly innocent home that harbors a dark secret. Rumored to be the lair of a demon disguised as a little girl, this house has been the subject of numerous paranormal investigations. The Pickman family, who lived here in the early 90s, experienced flickering lights apparitions, and even physical harm, all attributed to the malevolent entity known as Sally. Next, we visit Franklin Castle in Ohio, a Victorian home with a tragic history. From mysterious deaths to rumors of murder, this house is said to be the most haunted in Ohio. Its walls hiding more than just family secrets. Human bones were even found within the walls adding another layer of horror to its already dark history. We then ventured to Biltmore in North Carolina, a stately mansion where visitors have reported hearing a woman's voice and seeing ghostly apparitions. 
Its hidden doors and passageways add to its overall spook factor, making it a must visit for any paranormal enthusiast. Our penultimate stop is The Conjuring House in Rhode Island, a place so haunted it inspired a Hollywood movie. From ghostly children to extraterrestrial orbs, this house is a paranormal investigator's dream or nightmare. Finally, we arrive at the House of the Seven Gables in Massachusetts. Immortalized by the Nathaniel Hawthorne, this house is said to be haunted by multiple spirits, including a man climbing a secret staircase and a young boy playing in the attic. The air is thick with a weight of centuries-old secrets, making it a fitting end to our haunted journey. So, my dear listeners, would you dare to visit these haunted homes and landmarks? Would you risk an encounter with the spirits who call these places home? Remember, in the world of the paranormal, some doors are best left unopened. Thank you for joining us on this spine-chilling journey. Tune in tomorrow for another episode of Ancient Secrets and Haunted Journeys, where the only thing scarier than the stories is missing an episode. Home is where the haunt is. Don't forget to lock your doors, though it may not help.